Hey, this is Dan with Puts Ponds and Gardens. You're watching our YouTube channel, Puts Ponds. We're on another adventure today. We're going to go start a pond. We've got Brian with us, Derek in the back. That's your dream team for this project. We're going to build, uh, what size pond is it? Sure, 15 by 22. I don't remember. <laughs> goes, that goes without saying. Yeah. So we get to work with an existing slope. We're going to build an 18 to 22 foot long stream somewhere around there. We're going to have a footbridge to go from one patio to the next. Um, our challenge on this project is going to be where are we going to lose the soil since we already have a slope. So we're going to scope out the site and brainstorm things and go from there. So let's hit it. Alright so we're here on the project and um, let me show you what we got going on for this site. So I know the machine's in the way, but we've got a pond that's going to go between this patio here and this patio with the fire pit. It's going to be a great place for a pond. Back up over here to the house. So roughly we've got a 22 foot long pond, um, as skinny as about 6 feet here, but it's going to open up to 12 feet on this side, 12 feet on that side. We have a waterfall that's approximately 17, 18 feet long. We'll have multiple drops twisting and turning, but it's going to start here. Um, we're going to have a footbridge here. Homeowner was talking possibly um, having one made for him and then put in place here between the two patios. So one of our challenges, because we work in uh, flat backyards a lot of the times we love getting hillsides that are here it helps us to blend our pond and our work a lot more naturally but what do we do with all the soils that come out of here typically we take it from here flip to the other side and create a waterfall down but we've already got that here so soils here are going to go right back over here a little bit of a challenge, especially on these hot days that we're experiencing right now, but we're up for the challenge and we'll get it done. So let's go. So we got started on a stream on this one first. We don't normally uh, dig out the stream first, but because of access and this hard ground, we wanted to make sure that we got the excavator up there to do at least some of the prep work. We dug out for the um, biofalls. We'll have piping coming down the one side. We excavated some of the drops and you can see they're gonna be substantial. So we'll have one up on top, one in the middle, one going into the pond. And right now our area in the back, wood line, is um, it's getting filled up very quickly so we're gonna have to be kind of creative on how we uh, use our soils that get excavated from the pond so what I wanted to show you here is because of this slope any rainwater fertilizers anything we don't want them coming down and entering into the stream because then that adds a lot of extra nutrients to our pond so we've created a slight berm here I don't know if you can see it's kind of a little bump here and then that's going to be right next to the patio. So as we build this section up, we will do some retaining wall work here with some boulders. Now, easier to see up in this area here, 
water can come down this slope and go right into the pond. So what we're going to do on this is we're going to take any of the excavated soils from here. We're going to put them up there, create a little bit of a boulder wall, bring our stream boulders up a little bit higher to retain that. And then this water here can just flow down this way. So that way, again, we don't want storm water runoff into the stream. We don't want it underneath the liner. So that's why um, as pond builders, we have to build slight berms along our work so we don't get water trapped in underneath the liner. More importantly for the, uh, the pond itself, we don't want to get um, excessive runoff into the pond because that brings a lot of nutrients with it. So in a couple minutes, what we're going to do is we're going to start taking some measurements of the pond. We want our water level about three inches lower than the patio here. And so we're going to use our zip level. We're going to create um, our pond here, uh, excavate this out, haul it away to the areas that we need it, and watch the progress. Here we go. One, one. All right, so we've got more of the streams carved out over here. We're proposing to the homeowner possibly putting a spillway box in over here in addition to our um, biological filter. That'll just give a little bit more interest on this left-hand side. I'm sorry, right-hand side. And have another waterfall that comes down and meets into here. Pond is all carved out. We do a shelf right here in front of the skimmer. There's the hole for the skimmer. Um, we're doing that so we can set some large stones here, here, and we're not building from the bottom up with large stones. We're gonna do the footbridge going across from each patio. All right, so we're here on day two in Washington Township, Michigan and uh, we're gonna get started. Let me show you what popped up here overnight. So we've got some groundwater that's infiltrated the bottom of the pond and Derek right now is pumping it out so we can get finished uh, carving this backside out. We'll carve out the skimmer area and go from there. I'm gonna make a recommendation to the homeowner that we uh, install some pump underneath. Good morning, this is Brian with Puts Ponds and Gardens here in Washington Township on this very warm morning. We got the pond pretty much excavated out. Um, we noticed uh, yesterday that there was some groundwater seeping in. I uh, had no really idea where it was coming from. Um, so last night the homeowner around nine o'clock pumped the water out and i'm going to turn the camera around and you can see for yourself how much water came in overnight it's about nine ten inches of water here so what we're going to do is do a wet well skimmer is going to be going right there so the wet well is going to go right there um, it's going to be this piece of corrugated uh, dual wall it's going to go down sunk down in the ground the bottom of it there's going to be a uh, concrete pad for a sump pump to sit down on um, through the middle of the pond from right about there to over in here there's going to be a piece of four inch 
uh, piping that looks like that that will be on a slight downward pitch to the uh, pump crock so any groundwater that does come into the pond will drain down into the uh, pump crock and the pump then will we'll take it from here and we'll just trench out a little bit over here because the backyard is on a downward slope going back to this wetland area back there it's necessary because if we don't have that in there hydrostatic pressure will build up underneath when the liner gets pulled up from the bottom pulls down from the sides um, and it doesn't go back in place all by itself so we need to uh, relieve that pressure and get that water out of there whenever whenever it happens big problem the pond is rocked in skimmer right over there comes this way right in here there's going to be from here to across there a stone bridge um, haven't picked out the stones yet for it um, and then right underneath there, can't really tell, but there's a fish cave. And what we used was a piece of this flow cell and three rocks and some gravel on top of it. Does a pretty good job of camouflaging. Next is uh, rock up the streams. Hopefully be pulling out of here tomorrow. Okay, so you got the pond filling up, water. Got some grading to do over here. Some of our, our uh, edge treatment, liners gotta get cut still. Um, but the pond is filling up and the waterfalls are running. Gonna take a sneak peek at those real quick. We want to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned for all of our upcoming episodes.